What's up, everybody? Today we're here at Pike Powder Coating, located in Austin, Mass. We're going over Alvin's product, Lab Metals. They offer both a regular and high temp version of their product. This is used for filling dents, holes, unfavorable surfaces, and other things that you'd like to go for with powder coating. We'll be showing you the application methods on a variety of gas tanks that exemplify these surfaces, taking it from the sandblasting stage up and through powder coating. Alright, so at this point we've allowed the lab metals to cure for 24 hours. In this case we used the high temp metals, so we cured it at 425 degrees for 60 minutes. Uh, at this point we'll be going forward with sanding it. Some of the tools we'll be using to sand it will be a, a pneumatic DA uh, combined with a soft pad to keep the edges from hardening over on a straight surface. Uh, then maybe some files, as well as finally finishing it off with about a 400 grit sandpaper uh, prior to putting powder on it. You're going to want to really make sure to not contaminate your surfaces prior while you're working with it. That's why I'll be using gloves during this whole process to avoid getting any sort of oils or uh, contaminating the surfaces going forward.
right, so now that we're done with the sanding part of it and have it to the point where we're ready to powder it, we're going to want to go through any sort of normal prep you do. With regards to the lab metal being on the piece already, what I do is blow it down to the pneumatic air first. This is going to get all of the light parts off of it. After that, what I would normally do is douse the whole thing in, in denatured or MEK or whatever solvent I'm using to prep the part. In this case, carefully wet a very clean, dust-free rag with the denatured and wipe down the metal and all the areas where the lab metal is not touching. The areas where it is, the only thing you can do is wipe it off with a clean, dry rag, not getting any of the denatured or solvents onto the piece because this will ruin the finish of the piece. After, as it goes into the powder process. Also at this point, I've already taken the time to mask all areas I don't want powder, bringing it to the point of, as of now, being ready for powder. Alright, so our piece is done cooling, it's able to be held now, the powder is all done with it. As you can notice, the area of the main concern in this zone, nice even color, all the pinholes have been filled, all the dents, all the pinholes in the back zone have all been nice and smooth, very even color, and our piece is good as new. That concludes our application process using lab metals for powder coating. For more info or to buy the product, you can find it at albumproducts.com. If you have any further questions on application methods, I can be reached at pikepowdercoating.com. Thanks for watching.